guys, so today was the Jason Wu for Target launch and I got my butt up pretty early to get to my Target on time um, when they open because I know how quickly the Missoni stuff sold out and I didn't want to be left scrambling for the things that I wanted. This collection didn't wow me like Missoni did. Um, there was definitely some key pieces that I had my eye on. Um, everything that I got here I love, 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 and I did get everything that I wanted to get. Like I said, I wasn't completely wowed with this collection. It really just consisted of clothes, um, like scarves and, um, like handbags. And I really wasn't into the handbags or the scarves. I just really more so wanted the clothes, especially the dresses and the blouses because those are great pieces for me to wear to work. As far as, like, the t-shirts, I didn't think the quality of the t-shirts was great, um, I'm not a big fan of cats, so I was totally not into the whole cat thing. Um, some of the dresses I just felt were just ugly, if I could be honest. They just definitely were not my style, but it was weird because the two dresses I picked up, I feel like are nothing, like, they don't belong in the same collection as some of the other dresses that they had. Like, I just feel like the collection was kind of all over the place. Like, with Missoni, it all kind of flowed but with this one, it looked like it could have been part of different collections. I'm going to run through and show you the pieces really quick, and then I'm going to put them on so you can see how they look on and style them different ways so you guys can have an idea. I definitely don't think that this collection was as um, popular or anticipated as much as the Missoni line. So if you do see stuff that you like here, it's there's probably a good shot that you could still find some, um, some of these pieces, if not all of them. And I definitely... You know, there's always eBay as a last resort if there's that one piece that you really, really like. But, like, I came home at 9 o'clock this morning, and I could not believe the prices some of the stuff was going for up on eBay already, like, an hour after the store stores open. Just ridiculous. I don't think any of these things are worth any bit more than what their price tags are. Um, Price-wise, they are priced a little bit lower than the Missoni items. Um, but I think... As far as the prices on the pieces, I think it's probably, a, they're good price points and I don't think anything here is completely overpriced. So, I'm going to show you really quick what I got. First thing I got was this blush and um, beige blouse. It has longer sleeves, but not too long. And they have a snap. And then the front has this really cute bow tie. Or, yeah, bow tie. And it's... Shorter in the front, longer in the back. Again, snap detail going all the way down, but they're covered buttons. Um, I love the material of this. It's very soft, very flowy, very loose. The collar, I like how it's kind of has this ribbed um, detail. I got this in a medium, and it fits me perfectly. And, um, yeah, so that's this top, and I will, of course, show you some things, ways to wear it. I got the same top in navy blue with this, like, I don't know if it's like a beigey kind of speckled polka dots. And I wear navy slacks a lot to work, so I thought that this would be a really cute shirt to wear with navy slacks, or even black. Black and navy is really in. It's exactly the same shirt and style as the blush pink one. Um, just different color, so this is another option if you don't like the blush pink color. And then this was the one piece that I was like dead set on. I really, really wanted. And it's another blouse, but this one's long sleeve. And it's again that blush color, but it's a little bit lighter. And it has this gorgeous feminine ruffle detail in the back here. And it kind of continues on in the front. The sleeves are kind of like bell sleeves. Um, I just love this. I love the flowy... The flowiness of it, it's not one of those shirts that you have to iron really. Like, obviously I might need to iron it, but it's not one of those, like, button-down shirts that are, like, really crisp and um, stiff shirts. Which, I do like those too, but I just love the softness and flowiness of this. And the blush color is just one of my favorite colors to wear and to um, accessorize with. So this was definitely um, one of my favorite items in the collection. Next... I love this dress. This is the navy blue with, um, let me stand up here. Um, when I saw this on the website, I thought it was white and red, but it's actually like a blush pink, which I like even better. Um, so it's like blush pink, um, striping, and then a thicker red block stripe at the bottom. Love the cut of this. It's kind of cinched around the waist. It has a zipper back, 
and I got this in a size 4 and it fits me perfectly. I love that the bottom's kind of pleated. This reminds me very much so of like Summer in the Hamptons or like a really classy, I don't know, like almost nautical cute outfit if you're going on a boat or something. Really just a really nice piece for summer. And the material's like a, a cotton material, but it's definitely one that probably would need some ironing. This is my standout best piece of the collection, most favorite. This is the black dress with the nude patent leather belt. This also comes in white with a black belt and then black lining. And I think this is actually the most expensive um, piece in the collection and I think it's worth every penny. It was $59.99 and um, I didn't realize it online but hopefully you can see this detail. It's a really soft, almost like ribbon material, not ribbon material, but it almost feels like one of those ribbons, but the whole dress is that material. Again, it has the back zipper, and it's just, it's a really heavy dress, like a really, really heavy dress, and again, with the pleating, and then the best part, it has this, like, little sequin, lacy piece that kind of just pokes out of the bottom. The white one, this is black with the black belt. And the funny thing is, if you guys have been watching some of my clothing hauls, I have been on the search to find like a nude patent belt. And I have found some, but it just wasn't the right nude. And this is actually the perfect color nude that I have been looking for. So I was even more excited because I can now have a nude patent belt to pair with my other outfits that I've been wanting it for. Um, so I can't wait to show you what this looks like on. That was like the first one that I felt like really just cleared out and all they had left was a size 8. And I was so, so sad but I thought, oh, I'll just grab this just in case. Maybe it will fit me on my way into the dressing room. Maybe somebody put one back. Um, I just loved this so much that I didn't want to leave the 8 there and chance that it might just fit me. And thank God for the belt because it actually fits me really, really well. Now, like with the navy blue one, because there's no belt or anything up on the waist, um, you kind of need it to hug you and be a little bit more snug so it kind of, you know, sucks you in and doesn't look frumpy or long. Like if this came with a belt, then I definitely probably could have even got the six. And as long as the, the waist was cinched in, that it would have been fine. But with this one, um, it is a little bit big in the waist, um, but being that you have the belt, it totally hides the fact that it is a little bit, a little bit big. But it fits like my arms really well, you'll see it on. I just love this dress. Like I think a lot of these shirts and things like, I, I could find stuff like this at Forever 21 or even Target, like in their normal collection. I don't think any of this stuff's really unique to Target. But, and even this one, like I love this dress, but I, again, I don't think it's something you would never see in Target. But definitely like the more formal black dress I love, and this is not something I would typically or you would typically see in Target. It's the quality of it is amazing. It's so well made. It's so soft. Um, I, I just can't get over it. Like I was so, so happy this fit me um, because... It definitely, to me, is like the standout in the collection. So I'm going to try these on for you, and I will be right back. So here's the navy blue dress, and I forgot to mention that it does have pockets, which I think is super cute. It's just, it's a really, really feminine. It comes right to my knees. So it's to me, it's like the perfect length, and, and I love the pleating. All right, this is my absolute favorite. So again, we have the high neck line. High neck line, I don't know why I said that slow. This is what it looks like. It again comes right to the knee. So to me, it's a perfect length. That's what the back looks like. And down here, just so you could see like the lace detail. Um, now, like I said, this is definitely um, a more formal dress. This, this is not a dress I would wear for work. It's a little bit too too um, fancy for work. But um, pairing it with the nude pumps and even like a nude clutch or a black clutch would be so pretty. Um, I would love to wear this to a wedding, to a christening. Um, like I said, any kind of black tie event that you just need a little bit more of a formal dress. Um, also, there are pockets, which I just love. I think pockets and dresses are just so darling. 
So hands down, I love this dress. If you can get your hands on it, if there is one thing in the entire Jason Wu collection that you ha you can only get, I would say get, get this dress. I don't think you'll regret it. It's like a little black dress and you can wear it forever and ever and it will never be you know, off trend, out of trend, out of season, anything like that. It's classic black, little black dress. All right, here's the navy blue top, and I just have it on with some editor pants from Express. I tucked it in just to show you one option of what you can do. It is long enough so you can tuck it in, but then I would recommend, like, bunching it out just a little bit so that it doesn't look so tight. Um, it's a really cute outfit on its own with just some black or navy pumps or flats. You need to make it really formal. This is a suit jacket from Express, so this would be a really appropriate, nice, like, business outfit, like a serious business meeting or something, and I'll just show it to you tucked in again so you can see. So, yeah, I would probably tuck it in with the jacket. So this is a more formal. This one's from J. Crew, and just slip that on leave it open or just button two buttons but it looks like out if I was to wear a cardigan with it I think I would probably leave it out but if I was to wear the blazer I think I would tuck it in and easy this can take you day to night you just take a pair of skinny jeans in your car and swap out your dress slacks for jeans and you have a perfect day to night outfit one last thing you could do with this Take a white blazer, and here we go again. This is another option. And this is a longer boyfriend blazer from Forever 21. Um, definitely a more casual look. Definitely a neater, you know, more put together look. And then here is what it looks like with it out. And again, you could just easily throw on some jeans and really cute outfit. The Jason Wu collection um, had a pair of like navy blue slack shorts so this top would be so cute with that or even white shorts. Again a more nautical summery feel. Um, really don't feel like putting shorts on you guys. I just wanted you to see how this shirt fits. They're super cute with like slack shorts. I keep saying slack shorts. I hope you know what I mean like J. Crew style shorts with um, a blazer would be so so cute. Um, I can't wear shorts for my job but if you can that would be a super cute like office-y office um, outfit. If not it would just be like a really nice dinner time, cocktail hour, whatever outfit with a blazer and shorts. So this is the navy blue top. Alright same shirt but in blush and I actually threw on some shorts just so you could see uh, a different kind of look. So you could wear this shirt easily with black slacks. Um, I would not recommend wearing a black bra under this shirt, but I wasn't going to change my bra. Black slacks, a black pencil skirt, black shorts. These shorts are from Express from last year. Let me again just tuck this in so you can see. I actually think I like this shirt better tucked in. I would definitely bunch it out a little bit. So here's the dress. I mean the shirt um, tucked into shorts. Again you could take a black cardigan and just dress it up. So here we go again with the blazer more casual dress down. Um, this again is a great outfit for, uh, for nighttime. For daytime I would just change out the shorts for a pair of black slacks or black pencil skirt whichever you prefer just another option. I love blazers if you haven't noticed. I have one in basically every color because blazers go with absolutely everything and they're so versatile that you can wear them as a, for a more formal occasion or dress them, dress your outfits down for a more casual but either way um, I just really like having them in my collection, my wardrobe because you could always you mean you throw a blazer on with any outfit and you have like a completely new stylish outfit that looks really chic and fun. The last shirt I just put on a black skirt. Now this isn't a pencil skirt. Um, I couldn't find my black pencil skirt. I think it might be in the wash. So this one flares out a little bit more. I would definitely wear a blouse like this with a pencil skirt. But I just wanted you to kind of get the idea of what it would look like tucked in. You can again throw on like a black blazer if you wanted to or a black suit jacket. So. 
This is definitely um, like a really nice businessy type. Not even just this blouse, like any flowy blouses, you could do the same exact thing with. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and hopefully it kind of was like an outfit of the day-esque type video so that you could kind of get a feel for different ways to wear things, especially for um, women in the professional workplace. I know I get a lot of requests for that. So hopefully this kind of gave you some ideas, um, different ways I mix and match my basics. Um, and how to kind of incorporate this new collection into my wardrobe. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you soon. Bye.